In the years before the Civil War, the South was a society divided, not only between blacks and whites, but among whites themselves. The region was dominated both socially and politically by 1,733 families who own more than 100 slaves each. They were called the planter aristocracy, and they lived in a world of opulent mansions and mint juleps. But most white Southerners weren't wealthy enough to own slaves. In fact, two-thirds of all Southerners own no slaves at all. This part of the population was known as yeoman farmers. They raised their own food and made their own clothes, often eating less and working harder than slaves. Very often, this is a poor population. Um, very often, it's a population that has little more than the land that they work. They're largely subsistence farmers in many places. For the most part, the yeoman farmer comes to define, they're those sort of lost people of the South in American history. The planter aristocracy owned the best land, forcing the yeoman farmers to scratch out a living in the less fertile backcountry and mountain valleys that remain. Since they didn't own land, they could not hold political office, which meant they had less representation in both national and state governments. In addition, people who owned slaves were often allowed to include their slaves when calculating population, giving them a huge advantage in their state legislatures. We know this, and we can actually see it in places like South Carolina, the large plantation counties, where the black population out actually outnumbers the white population four to one in some cases, meaning that the authority of the wealthy is magnified at almost every step in the local, state, and federal government, um, giving them extraordinary power in this region, and also silencing non-slaveholding poor white people, very often in both state politics and in national politics. But most poor yeoman farmers didn't blame the slave system for this vast inequality. In fact, most poor whites defended the institution of slavery, knowing in their hearts that at least they were superior to slaves in one way. The whites had their freedom. <laughs>